live chat. Hey, Nuke! <laughs> Okay, Walleye and Kelp on Rainmaker. Sounds like there's a beacon for that. I should really change my, my Octogirl's pants back to the shorts. Eh, it's cool. I'll be honest, last night I barely streamed much of anything. Because I was just not... I, 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 I was not with it. <laughs> my brain was just somewhere else. And I was getting far too salty at everything, so... I'm rather excited for the update that's gonna be dropping. Like, later today, technically. <laughs> I don't know the exact time, but from reading on, ow, um, from reading what I could find, the update was is like supposed to happen at something like 8 p.m. Eastern on the second. I cannot aim. Jeez. Yeah, all I really know is that there's weapons coming. <laughs> That's about it. Hello, Fox. So yeah, like, by the time tomorrow night's stream happens... ...the update should have dropped by that point. Ow. I don't think the Splatfest is starting tomorrow, but the update is definitely dropping tomorrow. Which I think will let you start picking your side, so... It's just bacons. Don't deny it, everyone would play these things. A everyone would play these if they were made of bacon. Ow. Um, from my reading, it's bunnies versus turtles. I'm guessing they're doing the, the rabbit and the hare thing. Well, turtle and the hare. Yeah, the rabbit and the hare. I'm... Hmm. I think I'm still out of it. Yo, what's up? I'm back. Ow. <laughs> that was a dumb super jump. Well, to be fair, it was a really narrow hallway and they just kind of walked into my gun. There's really no skill there. Ow. I just got blasted in the face. 
Wait, does someone else on the team have beacons? Oh yes, yes they do. And they're not very good either. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I can't say they're not very good. I don't know if they're going to be very good or not. No, they are not going to be very good. Okay. That's annoying. That is still one of my biggest pet peeves with playing beacons. Is when, pe when someone else on the team has them and starts placing them down. At the very least, they're not landing at mine and replacing mine with theirs. I thought I had the Rainmaker, but I guess I didn't. Well, I know I didn't at the end there. So I have a teammate that really should have backed off a bit. these pants. It's pretty hard to argue that him with no mains of sub power up would have better beacons than me. That's what I mean, like, when I'm playing beacons, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. Is someone else with worse beacons placing theirs over mine? Because then less people are gonna use mine, because it's like, well, those beacons sucked. Why would I use them? Which is kind of the annoying thing when it comes to beacons. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to what I have been using. Yeah, I've, I've been kind of using your main there, Nuke. Um, at least for Rainmaker. Because my main doesn't really work for Rainmaker, so... <laughs> Though, I can safely start, once this next update hits, I can safely start fully working on doing a series on Splatoon 2. Because it's supposedly going to be the final weapon update. Ow. So... I, 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 I don't know. Doesn't seem like a Canadian joke to me, but... Yeah, they did say that last time, too. They said a while back that they were done with updates, and people believed them. This is Nintendo we're talking about. I don't honestly believe it this time either, but... Ow, okay, this team kind of sucks. We do have a Sniper, and they have two Kensa Splat Pros. Which is probably why we're losing. Oh hey, it's the I sleep person, even though I literally left that lobby. I'm still running into them again. Sniper, take it. Sniper. Sniper, you've not hit the broadside of a burn! Take the Rainmaker! Jeez. Ow. Mm. Well, A is Moria, which would be E-H. A lot of Canadians do also say A at the end of sentences. I even do occasionally. What you said was more like surfer lingo.
Ow. Just remember, a lot of stereotypes are based from truth. Well, based in truth. They're just exaggerated truth. Which is kind of what makes them so funny. Ow. It's the sniper setting beacons down. And he has no mains of sub power up. Why would you do this to us? Why would you make anyone believe that your beacons might actually be competent? Ow. It's not good. Just cause I die to brushes doesn't make it good. I've died to just about everything. <laughs> so... This is S+. I'm S plus 9. Now let's see. How good did that sniper do? Four kills. Four. <sighs> I'm going to try to get as far away from that sniper as I possibly can. They clearly do not know how to play a point-and-click adventure. As much as Splatoon isn't as much point-and-click, it's still that's what sniping is! You see the person, you point at them, and then you release the click. But now, they, they apparently don't understand that. I have been on record saying before that some snipers are good and I do not have problems with them. Snipers like that that I sleep person. No, they they should go back to turf war and practice. Fair enough. So in other words, I should expect them to be using, like, an ink brush. If they're a filthy memer. <laughs> hey, it's Walleye again. Kind of like Walleye Rainmaker. Ah, they're, they're, they're a squelchy. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. Squelching and moist go together, so. Fair enough, Fox. First. Come on, Bubble Boy, you could do it. Ow. I can't do it. It would help my cause so much if I could aim. Come on, Bubble Boy. I can't aim to save my life. Usually points like that are the points where I've stopped thinking and I'm trying to aim using my right hand. 
because that's what my brain instinctually wants to do. But that thing is not useful for anything other than hitting things very hard. Players who don't know, I'm left-handed. <laughs> Darn it! Where was the team? I told me you guys were back there fighting just the Flingza. And the Luna Blaster appeared to be AFK there for a second? Okay. Ow. Thank you, Crafty Panther. Oh. Bugger. Let you just be six eyes. I don't. I, I don't understand how like four eyes is an insult. Because if you think about it, realistically, having four eyes would be an advantage. It would be you know evolutionarily beneficial to have four eyes. Yet apparently, it is an insult. I thought I died there. Hmm, good. Pushes up invisible glasses. Yes, I am very much a nerd. Uh... <laughs> Give me this. Okay, if you want to bring that right to me, that's just fine by me. Oh, jeez. Bubbles! Someone grab that. Okay, good. I don't know why the blobber didn't just help break the barrier. Ugh. Also, I want to note, for whatever reason, my... My, my chat box, my restream chat, has taken you saying moist on its own and made it entirely out of emojis. Oh, I think I will try a different weapon. Do, 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 do. I wish I could share it, but I really can't easily. I have print screened my desktop after the stream. I'll see about cutting it out in paint and throwing it through on the Discord. No, it, it literally is just all of the letters, but in like light blue kind of well, inky text. That's just all emojis. Um, mini splatling. 
I think there's a better mini for the Yeah, I want this mini. I'm sure you'll be able to manage it. Just takes a lot of determination. Because, well, lower ranks... Like, basically between, like, C and... I'd argue even S. Your loss may very easily be caused by somebody who lost their way into the higher ranks. So... Um, g game, you gonna... Y you gonna start... There we go. There's more people. Yeah, and enjoy the lack of tryhards. <laughs> While you can. Because, uh, you start running into tryhards around S and definitely S+. Plus. Fair enough. I'm not a big fan of the Kensa Jr. myself. I like the custom, but Jr.'s a nice weapon, so... Why would someone be playing an undercover in Rainmaker? Do they not realize? Ow. I mean, I wouldn't even exactly say the Japanese players are exactly tryhards. They just, well, they live the game. It kind of falls into the category of if you only have a couple hours a day, maybe every few days to play a game, you may as well be good at it. Ow. Yeah, we are just getting stomped. Suppose if that undercover stays away from the Rainmaker shield after if we can get the Rainmaker away from them. Ow. Which is a big if. I think we're literally about to just lose. There we go. I mean, the thing to remember is, like, a lot of Japanese players don't have that much time in the day they can spend relaxing. Because of just how Japan is. They are a very work-centric society. Like, it, you might think it's kind of like a joke of, like, um... You know, a Japanese person working, like, 16 hours a day, but that honestly could happen. Darn it. I mean, yeah, Nintendo should release all of the gear for everyone. 
And probably by the end, we will have everything, or at least exclusives of our own. But let's face it, North America isn't their primary market. Why should they care to do extra work? Ow. I mean... Gear ma doesn't really matter a whole lot in Splatoon 2 here. What matters honestly the most is your own abilities with your weapon. Could be very likely that you're running into people who have just spent more time with their weapons than you have with yours. Ow. Gear does help, but it's nowhere near as necessary as it was in the first game. Like, you no longer see the just everyone run quick respawn, everyone run damage up, everyone run stealth jump. You actually rarely see stealth jump these days. And also remember, level means nothing past level 30. Ow. I mean, I've ran into, like, level 80 stars that are arguably worse than a lot of just new players I've seen. Guys, I thought... Mmm. Mmm. I thought they would have found and killed the bucket if I not already... I thought I'd already killed him myself. But I guess not. You know, I'm probably gonna regret this. Come here, Undercover Sorola. I need to use this thing more anyway. It's not even at 200,000 points of turf yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean... At first, it seems like equipment makes a huge difference, and on some weapons it kind of does. Like, if you have a mini splatling with no run speed against one with a lot of run speed, the one with a lot it will likely win, if the players are equally skilled. Yeah, the Bubble Blower special is fun, I just don't like the sub on the Kensa Jr. I don't like torpedoes. They don't do enough for how counterable they are. Well, that didn't go so well. Ah, oh, jeez. Mm. I like ballers. Which is partially why I like this thing so much. Hey! <laughs> um... 
I want to see if I can get back into X rank, but if I can manage that or my bar breaks, I will uh, definitely set up a pair lobby. Ow. Yep, Prince Cedric. I just got to that earlier today. Now he's getting the switch set up for the stream. Ow. Thought he was close to being done. Guess not. Oh jeez. Come on guys. I am playing so terribly right now. It's looking likely that my bar is probably going to break before I get back to X. Okay, that was a lag spike that saved his life. Ah, we got the lead! Um, I played a little Super Mario Odyssey, but not much. I mean, yeah, I kind of like everything about Splatoon as well, like weapons-wise, but... Nothing wrong with camping when the enemy team greatly outranges you. <laughs> and I was more just trying to not be the one picking up the Rainmaker. Darn it, ran out No, I don't like Glam Blitz. That's why just about everything. There are some things I would definitely change about the game. A few of the things are just things I would do to Clam Blitz in the attempt to make it a more likable game mode. One of which just simply being the removal of being able to super jump when you have a ball. Ow. I mean, if one can... Uh, um... If one drops a ball for using, like, a baller or splashdown, they should drop it when super jumping. Like... <laughs> even, like, just thinking about it... Log you know, logically, it just doesn't make sense that you're able to hang on to a ball when super jumping. Ow, darn it. I would also, like, myself, I would make, honestly, a lot of balance changes towards dualies. Such as giving them a grace period in when dodge rolling an enemy ink instead of just always being able to. Like, giving them effectively enough time to dodge roll once, and then if they're still an enemy ink, they can no, no longer dodge roll, and they can only jump now. Or, you know, 
just massively increase the amount of ink to dodge roll, both of which would work. Both of them together would just destroy dualies. <laughs> Which is not exactly what I'd want. I mean, I do want my old dual squelcher back. But, I'm stuck with dually squelchers if I want to even have close to what they were. Which sucks. Yeah, the tent is neat. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I much prefer the undercover myself. I just tend to not care when someone sea bags me. The Tenta can one-shot. Keyword there is can. And the stream is gonna go for at least two hours, if I can manage it. Hopefully three. Well, I guess I'm taking this. I'm gonna take it this way. Ow. <laughs> yeah, it's because the Tenta is so heavy. Like, I have, um, it actually should be in the my my videos on Twitch. It's also uploaded onto the YouTube channel as well. Well onto my YouTube channel. Of just one of my times running the Tenta in I think it was actually Turf War. I believe it should be titled I Will Survive. <laughs> Yeah, I've still legitimately never seen anyone I would classify as hacking in Splatoon 2 here. I mean, there's some people that I'd consider fairly suspect, like what they were doing or, you know, how their game was functioning. But really, it could also just come down to lag. So... Can't really say too much, because they, well, could have just been lagging. Yes! Ah. I was very, like, broken voice singing, I will survive. It's probably the moment I find the most funny of everything I've done. <laughs> yes! X rank! I know I clipped it, so... Okay. I'm content. I really don't want to do the placement games. I'm X rank. That's all I care about. I know I need to do them eventually, but I don't want to do them on these maps. More a skipper splat zones. You know what? <laughs> Which of these did I even use? Alright, it was this one. I used the default. Yeah, because I was trying to run it beacon set, and it just never worked out. Ever. Yeah, the I will never die immediately dies. Yeah, Fox, if you still want to do a uh, duo, the league here, I shall set up a room. I'll really just go first come, first serve, whoever gets here first.
Nuke. I don't know that song. All right, Fox. I mean, I I know very few songs that have lyrics, and they're all by Eve Online developers with their band Perma Band. Um. Like, killing is just a means. That's a neat song. Sounds really edgy. And to non-Eve players, it would probably make absolutely no sense, but... Wow, no one booyahs back. Darn it! It has been so long since I used this thing, jeez. Ah! Well, that kinda worked. Alright, nuke. I will admit, I was very tempted for April Fools to just make a video of myself singing and post that. But I decided to save all of your ears from bleeding. I'm so dead. Well, that's not good. Computers should not explode. It's very bad for the computer. It, it it'll cause it to not work. And you don't want that. Ow. Why is that guy running main power up on the uh Aerospray. I'll just let that go that way. Darn it! The end zap is so much better for doing this. Oh, our end zap also disconnected. Okay. We're holding remarkably well given our end zap disconnected.
Yeah, we are about to lose, though. It was a valiant effort! I don't think I did that bad, considering I've not used a Tenta in months. And I've barely used them in the grand scheme of things. I should probably go with the weapon I'm, I'm more familiar with, but screw it! Tenta! Hello, Japan o'clock. So we are the Gaijins. Oh, jeez. I'm bad at living. As I think that just demonstrated. Ow. And that guy fell to his death. Good. so bad with this thing. Okay, I need to just switch to a better weapon after this. Alright, nuke. I, I need to just grab my regular undercover after this. I mean, that thing is my main. I don't know why I'm using anything but it. Well, that isn't it, I should say. I don't think I got a single kill. <laughs> and barely any turf points. And I got a single kill, I guess. I am a little sad that, um... As far as I can figure, they are bringing the Cherry Nozzle Nose back. But that means it's not gonna be like its old kit was. Because, well... The old Cherry Kit is basically this one. <laughs> like, the dolphin variant is... I, mean, I actually quite like seeing Japanese players around. It's just me, I guess.
Skipper Pavilion. See, I, I, I kind of stand by the opinion that a lot of the times the Japanese players make it feel like you've earned your rank more. If you can win against them. Ow. Darn it. Uh, I can't aim. That's the point where I shouldn't have thrown my bomb, but I did. You know, that just reminded me of another thing that Ink Armor does not do. If you already have a special going, like in my case right there, I just had a baller going, you don't gain any benefit from it. We just knock them out. I think we just knock them out.
Every time I have a match like that, I just always have through my head of just people telling me the undercover isn't for fighting. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it is because that's how I use it. And it's arguably better at it than the regular Brella is, like the Splat Brella. Purely because I can take more punishment before I die. We appear to have gotten the non um, clan group. I mean, Charger is kind of hard to use on these maps, so... Why would you... I know I question why people run Quick Respawn, like, every stream. And I've come to the conclusion that most people probably do it just to troll, because they know it's a bad ability. Yeah, we're done for. This, this is the type of match that I don't like in League. Where it's just... I'm going to assume all four of them are X-Ranks. <sighs> Trying to grab my phone. Yeah, as, <laughs> as I do this. Oh, well, it wouldn't have mattered. X, S plus, X, X against us of S, S plus, X, B minus. Like, I don't understand why the game does that at times. It gets even worse when you have, like, a low power and you still run into groups like that. Because then you know they've just thrown matches so that they can seal club. I mean, it should work out. Brella is really good at turfing. Something that someone that routinely criticizes me for using it seems to forget. Oh jeez. I somehow messed that up. Well, I'm gonna be slow getting to the front compared to normal. I, I should really stop throwing shade at you guys. Because I know a lot of the people that come in here and criticize how I play do that from, in general, a position of, well, m more experience than I have. Ow. 
and it's justifiable. But at the same time, a lot of people seem to have opinions like that from just positions of more or less ignorance in a way of a it didn't work for them so it doesn't work kind of mentality. Thing and that's just how a lot of people work when it comes to games in the first place, so... Yeah, I don't think we're winning this one. Welcome to the losing streak. I mean, this is two losses in a row. That is a streak at this point. Oh, Fox, if only you had gotten one more kill. <laughs> we would have all had four. Oh, Tetris. Come back, and what does this do? Increase damage? Yeah, sure. Time to try hard with little to no experience with this weapon. Well, you don't know that that's what's going to happen. Might be the complete opposite. I think this is the side of the map we want to be on anyway. So... Killed someone. 
Oh, uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna play with your eyes closed, then. It doesn't sound very practical. That was a lot of missiles. I get the feeling they don't like me. I mean, I can't blame them. This weapon is pretty ridiculous. Ow. Dodge rolled the wrong way! Sad face. I should really practice with duelies more. There's so many things about them I still don't even understand how to do. Like, how do you s just hold the pose? It's apparently possible. Ow. Singray is so good as well. It's so good the guy died. And there goes our lead. Did not realize the dynamo was down there. We can do this! Ow. Oh, that dynamo is so hurt. Ow. Yeah, you probably shouldn't roll with a dynamo. Like, ever, if you can help it. Save from someone who spent a lot of time playing Dynamo in the first game, and a fair bit of playing Dynamo in this one. Rolling is not what they do. You know, for almost never touching, like, the Tetris before, I think I didn't do that bad. <laughs> Could've definitely done better, but... I don't even know if having that main power-up actually helps. If it does, it's probably not enough, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go with just special charge.
I have joined the light side. I can't say dark side cuz these are light tetras. So clearly they're they're the good they're the good person things to use. They're not. They're still dualies. They're still broken, but you know. <laughs> I wonder who the SBs are with. Surely they're not paired together. I think that that, that Tuki Star's partner disconnected. And there they go. As much as I don't exactly understand the point of making clans and such for Splatoon, I have actually been tempted to make one and just call it Gaijin. Just have the clan symbol basically just be the Japanese word for gai- you know, for gaijin. Like the symbols for gaijin. It makes sense. This is a predominantly Japanese game apparently, so I mean... Their beacon suck, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna particularly matter that much. I I really feel like I should just stop using this thing. I think I'd be even- I, I think I'd even just be better off using, like, Carbon Roller or something.
I mean... I'm sorry if this sounds mean, but like, what did you expect? <laughs> You're literally taking away your vision. In a game where vision is very important. I mean, I could kind of see doing that with something like, you know, a racing game of sorts. Where you're just trying to work off of memory of the track. But not so much a shooter. Or really anything that has independent variables. Oh boy, we have two snipers as a group. Hmm. I'll booyah, and only one of them booyahed back. Ow. What is there? Splat doolies. Okay. I don't think we're gonna do so great, because sniper pair. I mean, it's, it is a case of, like, I do understand we are at a pretty low power. So we're gonna be running into meme teams and people who are just, you know... Not always gonna be the best. Ow. Kind of another problem with League. <laughs> I mean, I can't exactly say too much, I suppose. I am using a weapon I've rarely ever, uh, used before. Like, yeah, this thing's not even at 5,000. This is just almost to 6,000. I've rarely used Tetras before. So I'll go beacon set up ballpoint. So I'll go full beacon. No, I'll go run speed there. At the very least, these battles do not influence um, your your win loss ratio on the app. <laughs> so my win loss ratio is still be twenty five twenty five. Oh, excuse me. All right, I've yet to do a full like peek around on this map, but I do think that the right side spawn is the one you want. That's how it was in, um, the first game with Salt Spray Rig, which this basically is Salt Spray Rig. Darn it, broke my beacon again.
think now we're running into the problem that happens nearly every time I dig out my beacons. Ow. And that's the team is just not using them. Hello, Josephine. Well, let me ask, suppose you're using them there, Fox, but. Ow. The other two really are not. One of them is barely doing anything. Why is one of the end zaps just chilling back there? Jeez. I I don't understand. So my I just got a playback error on my my own preview. Okay. Yeah, it was Wild Girl, just kind of chilling back, not really doing anything. I was going to attempt to just this way spam them. Um... Have a good night. I'll go back to ranked then. Which will mean changing all of my equipment around. Um, yeah, it's been a little while. I might be better with this thing now. I'm going to put the beanie on. Might be a little better wearing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my Blue's Clues shirt on as well. Though it doesn't fit as well. I say that, this is a positively Canadian look to have right here. Just like, shorts, running shoes, barely a t-shirt, well barely past a t-shirt, not quite long sleeve shirt, and beanie. <laughs> like, this is the quintessential Canadian look. But I am actually going to quickly step away myself. I have to quickly use the washroom. So, I shall be back in about a minute or so.
Okay, I have returned. Let's do some placement games. Oop, bumped my little stand. I say stand, it's basically my... my keyboard holder, I guess, would be the best way to put it. Like, I have the, uh, microphone, boom, and my keyboard and mouse all on this little, like, end table that I'm using as a desk of sorts. Desk is the right word. Why didn't I think I was just saying desk before? Because I'm dumb, that's probably why. Um... Oh, excuse me. Okay, I am lagging a lot. Either that or whoever is technically the host of this room has really bad internet. Both are possibilities. Ow. Hello, Clash Blaster. You're totally a fair and balanced weapon. I know, like, the competitive community's like, Oh man, the Clash Blaster sucks. Like, yeah, well... It may not be great, but it gets the job done better than most other weapons for the least amount of skill. Like, that's something I... I don't think anyone could really deny. The Clash Blaster is probably the lowest skill weapon in the game. I died. I'm not very smart. Come on, guys, we have the lead. We can do this. Ow. <laughs> hey, it has the barrier back. I still don't overly understand why the M Perries are as good as they apparently are. Part of that does just simply come from the fact that I cannot aim. Um, geez, what's the name of that special? The flying special. I can't aim that to save my life. So more often than not, I go that entire special without actually accomplishing anything. The ink jet. I think that's what it's called. Something like that. Ink something. Darn it! Why are they just letting it reset? Is that enemy team just 
objective adverse, and that's why we're winning this. I, I legit think it is. Ow. Hi, Clash Blaster. You're a fair and balanced weapon. Oh, come on, guys. Just kill him. Just kill him. Please. Yes. This is X rank. I don't care about doing this. Team... Y... Thank you, team. For almost costing that by not just chilling back. Ugh, I hate teams when they do that. If the Rainmaker's chilling back, that's not your... You know... Cue to go kill hunting. Chill back. Protect the Rainmaker. They can't protect themselves. <laughs> Especially if there's duelies on the enemy team. Oh, there's one win! Habib! That's a stereotypical name. Don't know how common it actually is as a name. Also, yo, Robotic, you still around? I'm assuming you're probably not. You just popped in to say Bingo Bongo and then left. But... Benevolent. That's a big word. Basically it means be good. Killer is an edgy word. Means to be edgy. Oh, they're going to take it around that way. Gotcha. Ow.
Well, I think this is gonna be my first loss. Possibly. Come on, Clash, you can do it! Be the low skill weapon we all know you can be. Give me this. Ow. We really need to get it away from over there, guys. And I think we just lose here. Because half of the team is in the center. Chasing kills. Give me this. And yeah, now they're gonna take it completely around the other side. <sighs> this is just a loss. They don't even really have to do anything with it at this point. And they will win. This team is far too kill hungry for its own good. I legit hate teams like this. Like, everyone was chasing kills at the midpoint of the game instead of supporting the objective, which would have just caused a win. It's like people seem to forget that in the grand scheme of things... Killing doesn't matter. Oh, come on, someone pick that up. Area control matters. Killing plays into area control. But... It, in the end, really doesn't. Honestly, yeah, this is a good example of killing doesn't matter. Enemy team killed less than us, and still won. Because they controlled the match better than we did. Uh, I'm getting salty, I need to just stop. I'm just gonna end the stream off here. It's been almost two hours, so good enough for me. x rank placement games always make me salty, and I know it. I will probably do them off-stream if I get a chance, because, well, they always make me salty, and I don't like being salty on stream. Yeah, with that, thanks everyone for watching, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, and hopefully I'll actually have a day stream. So, see y'all tomorrow.